The two-loop detection system can give an indication of an engine overheat or engine fire condition. The engine overheat light illuminates at a lower temperature than occurs with a fire. Normally, the two loops must send overheat signals for the light to illuminate. An overheat has occurred in the number one engine. The master caution lights, the overheat detect light, and the related engine overheat light illuminate. Push the master caution light to extinguish the light and reset the master caution system. Move the thrust lever back to reduce the engine temperature. When the overheat condition is gone, the overheat indications are removed. The system receives the signal that an engine fire exists. The fire detection system operates the same for an engine fire as it does for an overheat. An engine fire indication occurs at a higher temperature than for an overheat condition. The two loops must send fire signals for the alert to occur. There is a fire in the number one engine. These are the indications of an engine fire. The fire warning bell operates. The master fire warning lights. The master caution lights. And the overheat detect light illuminates. The related engine fire warning switch and the engine overheat light illuminate on the overheat fire protection panel. Push a master fire warning light or the fire warning bell cutout switch to stop the fire bell and reset the system. Now reset the master caution system. Pull the engine number one fire warning switch. When you pull the engine fire warning switch, it arms one discharge squib of each extinguisher bottle. Closes the engine fuel shutoff valve and the spar fuel shutoff valve. Closes the hydraulic fluid shutoff valve and deactivates the hydraulic pump low pressure light. Closes the engine bleed air valve. Trips the generator relay and generator breaker. And prevents the use of reverse thrust for that engine. After you pull the engine fire warning switch, you turn the switch in one direction to discharge the selected fire bottle. Now turn the number one fire warning switch. After a short delay, the related bottle discharge light illuminates to show that the bottle has discharged. Turn the fire warning switch in the opposite direction to discharge the other fire extinguisher bottle. After a short delay, the other bottle discharge light illuminates. The red light in the engine fire warning switch extinguishes when the temperature decreases below the fire warning activation temperature. The engine overheat light extinguishes when the overheat condition is gone. The engine fire warning switch for the other engine operates the same.
The engine fire warning switch is usually locked down. An engine overheat or fire warning supplies a signal that electrically unlocks the engine fire warning switch which lets you pull the switch. There is a manual override release button that is used if the automatic release fails. It overrides the locking mechanism. You manually push down the override release button and pull the fire switch to override a failed automatic release.